Hey everybody. As you can see, I have a wild bunny. This thing is a killer. It's an absolute man-eater and everything. I mean, look at it. It's ferocious. It's just an absolute killer we got going on here. Um, see if I can eat something for you. Mm, not eating. It's ate a lot. It's gone through like a ton of lettuce and half a carrot in like an hour. Um, my fiance found this little fella. Uh, about a week ago, something like that. There we go. Actually, I guess it was about three weeks ago. We've had about a month. I get it on the weekends, because we don't live together. And she keeps it through the week. Was just driving to see me, like, a month ago, something like that. And she's out in the country, kind of, on a pretty... It's a pretty highly traveled road in the daytime, but you don't get too much traffic at night. It's just coming over kind of late at night. And she found this rabbit. She saw it in the road, bounding back and forth, and she slows down to stop. Oop, it's going to get wild. I just chopped its carrot. No, you don't. don't. Don't go get it. You can't go get it. I know it's on the floor. I'll wash it off. Um... She stopped to pick it up and everything. She couldn't get it to stay out of the road, so she figured she'd bring it to my house. I got a big old cornfield behind my house. Big, big field. And, you know, there's a lot of dangerous stuff. We got coyotes out here. We got owls. We got... I own nine cats, so we got cats all over. It's a lot of predators, but we figured we'd take it out there and release it. You're not going to get owls out in the field. And we don't have coyotes that close to the house. So, we had an occasional bear sighting. I've never seen one, but in this area we do have some bear. Bar, whatever. Um, she picked it up and she brought it out here, and we were debating whether to release it or not. Now, should we or shouldn't we? Should we or shouldn't we? We ended up jumping loose. He got loose from us. As you can see, this thing is so wild. I mean, this is just such a wild bunny. And we just we ended up keeping it. We kept him, hung on to it. We still have it, obviously. Well, her mother works at a vet veterinarian's office. Took it to him, and he said that it had swelling on the brain. So chances are, um, it jumped into a tire, like it was running through the road, something like that, and it jumped into a car was coming. It jumped into a tire. Or was underneath of a car, uh, ran underneath of the car and hit its head on something. So it was a little squirrely for a few days. It slept with me, it spent the night with me. Uh, when she stays at my house, because she lives like 45 minutes away from me. And she works at a town pretty close to me. So she drives like half hour to work. And she does school in the same town. She goes to college in the same town. And so when she's got to stay in town until like 9.30 at night or later during school... Uh, some of her classes don't get out until late. And she's got to be back to work the next morning, like at 7 or earlier. She spends the night at my house. That way she doesn't have to drive so much. And so I stay in the car. She stays on, in my room on my bed. I stay in the car. Well, I took this rabbit to me. And, I mean, look at it. It's, just, it's so wild right now. It's, it's a killer. Man-eating rabbit. You saw it here first. Carnivorous bunny. Um... She actually only scratched us once. It was her. Scratched my fiance once. Well, not you want something. It spent the night with me in the van. I I got in a little sleeping bag, and it laid right next to me all night. And when it would get cold, it like it like burrow right into my armpit. I mean, it would just like burrow right in there and everything. And this thing, it, it throws off so much heat. I mean, I'm I'm sitting there dying of sweat, and it's just trying to get as close to me as it can get. Well, we realized a while later that it was blind. It was actually blind from the swelling on its brain. It made it blind. And now it's not blind. It can see pretty well. Come down. Come down. Come down. Uh, we haven't named it yet. We don't want to get too attached to it because we might end up releasing it. It is wild. 
mean, legitimately, it doesn't seem that wild right now. I'm making a little bit of fun of it, but... Um, it is a wild rabbit, and we probably will end up having to release it at some point. But for right now, we want to, you know, healthy it up a little bit, get it... Get fanned up a little bit. It was really thin when we first found it and stuff. Um, I'm going to take it out and let you see it run around a little bit. See so you bear with me for a second. Come on. So the camera there. about that. Um, he likes running around. He'll run around for a few minutes and then realize that there's no way out. And he'll calm down. He probably could jump over that if he wanted to. He's not that big of a jumper right now. See, he calms down. Really friendly towards people still. Comes right up to you. He only spins in a left turn. He never goes right fully. He mainly goes to the left. He's a good bunny. Just wanted to make a video and show it to you. We feed it lettuce. It's very picky. It only wants iceberg lettuce. It won't eat any regular lettuce. Eats carrots. Likes carrots a lot. Uh, sunflower seeds. It really likes sunflower seeds. You buy, like, wild bird feed and pick sunflower seeds out of it. We got, like, a... We actually bought a 10-pound bag of, uh, sunflower seeds. It's meant for wild birds. But... It eats pretty well. It's a nice bunny. We're getting close to winter here in Michigan. So we're going to have to decide if we're going to release it or not. A lot of cars and stuff by where it, where we found it at, so we don't think that's the best place to release him. But we will at some point we'll release it. Comes back over here. I'll try to get a hold of it again.